This is a prototype of a prototyping tool that we're developing here at 89 to help us develop for HoloLens. And as part of that effort, we have deconstructed the uh, motorcycle demo shown in the HoloLens videos and something we tried out ourselves when we tried the demos. And this one is interesting for uh, showing how things can move between your real world computer screen and uh, the outside the bounds of the screen into your real world as a three-dimensional hologram. And then how you can edit it directly in that. So this is a build in Unity, uh, virtual reality recreation, as it were, of the uh, mixed reality HoloLens experience. So here we have a motorcycle on the computer monitor screen. And uh, you can see the mouse cursor. We're imagining this is the view from the HoloLens. So you're seeing a landscape, probably it looks a little different than this, but you have your computer screen and the floor and a motorcycle on the computer screen. So let's go ahead and we can drag it around with the mouse just like you can normally on a computer, except that this time we can do something different. We can actually pop it right out of the screen and into the 3D world. Now it exists as a 3D hologram. And if we want to, we can move it seamlessly between uh, the computer screen and the 3D world, very simply. But let's say that we want to uh, not only admire it, uh, but also manipulate it as a 3D hologram in the real world. So we can go ahead and set it down here, and now we get access to some additional controls that we would manipulate probably with finger taps and gaze in HoloLens. Here we'll use the mouse. And we want to try different uh, sizes for the gas tank. So right now our holographic bike now represents a real-world chassis that you might have in your office if you were designing a bike like this. Uh, but we've overlaid a holographic tank on top of it and we can manipulate the size with these buttons. Um, so you can see making it bigger and smaller you can get uh, just the right size that we want and then use that to influence the final design. And this is just a preview of the tool that we're building. Hope you enjoy.